Good evening, everyone. Last we left, we had just walked into the Oak Lab. So now, let's start taking a look around. Oh yeah, we got the surveyor there. We already, already do that. But we got this big red button, which is always a good idea to push, right? Okay, just opens the door. And now we have discovered the Oak Lab. There are multiple labs, and each one will have certain supplies just stashed away. In this case, sap. So let's grab up all of that that we can hold. Some security cameras. We got the hedge. I think it cycles through, but I don't know. I usually get too bored. Oh, yep, pond. And so those are the inside of the labs. And it's telling you we got a battery backup failure. We got air contamination critical in the haze. It's also supposed to be kind of giving you a indication as to what order to do these in. In the blank black anthill, we got a security lockdown. But I like to reverse the order of those first two. I like to do the pond first. Or I guess that was the right order. Sorry. Some people suggest doing the haze and then doing the pond, but I like to follow this order. Here we got hostile presence. Alright, continue walking around. We got a door here and a scanner that we can't access yet. And over here we have our one and only friend, Burgle. Where are you hurt? disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I love Burgle. I am sure this all must be very disorienting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. <laughs> However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Okay, so how do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Well, can we fix the spacer? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! 
Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. Mm -hmm. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair these facer. Memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries! <laughs> the lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too! But we are in luck! I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard, and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the Hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the Hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> Shut up. That reminds me. <laughs> Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items, nay, tasks, nay, quests, yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Seems a little convoluted. Why don't you just trade me the recipes when I do the quests? But whatever. Log on to the ASL I'm no game designer. Over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those chips and try not to die out there. Can do. Have an exponentially great day. I can do that too. Thanks, Burgle. I like to think of, think of him as the creator of Bergy. If anyone's a Game Grumps fan out there. Okay, so. Before we get too deep, there's a couple of things. I talked about the vibrating controller with the raw science. There's one down here. Make sure you don't go any farther. Because you can drop down there, but it leads to that maze of an anthill that we found earlier. And I don't want to tango with any of them, so ignore that. Around the corner, though, we got some more raw science. And a new cassette tape. One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor, insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues. But, audentes fortuna what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Burgle, I'd like to record some messages for my family, in case things do not go as planned. <laughs> I 
We can kind of see where that ended up. Okay. So you can talk to him again if you want, but there's no new information as far as I know. And now for the important stuff. First, scan our... Excuse me, scan our hand with the biometric scanner. Chugging down too much of the sleepy time tea. And it accesses the ASL terminal, which also accesses all the ones in all the field research stations around the yard. Oh, yeah. And there's another shelf with a bunch of cool stuff, so let's grab all that. Crude ropes and granola bars and fiber bandages. Gross. Okay, but this, this is going to be great. So you got your science shop, which you can spend your raw science on stuff, which we will be. Important things to note out is any of these scabby scanners will make it so your scabby can react in the same way it's been doing with the field research station down there in the bottom left corner. It'll do that for other resources. In this case, it tacks on raw science scanner. So that's nice. Uh, sign set, don't worry about that. That just gives you some pictures to put in the sign frames that you build on your base. But that's cosmetic stuff. We're not going to do that for a long time. Meat shield uh, mutation is great. Because it just increases your max health. Torch upgrade is great. It makes your torch last longer. Fortified bases is great. It gives you the stronger versions of the base materials. Your floors, your walls, etc. Peblet foundations are okay. I don't see many people use the foundations. They just use scaffolds. Multi-story basis is good. You get stairs, you get roofs. It's actually really good. It's just a lot of stuff in general. Uh, cooking is okay, but early it's not that big of a deal because we're not going to be getting a lot of these items. I mean, I guess we could. It's not too hard to find those requirements and makes the cookery smithing station is also good but again we're not going to get much to upgrade immediately so this isn't going to be too uh, important so I'm not quite sure what to get I know I want to get the torch upgrade that's going to be great so since that's the only thing we can afford let's go and buy that and also we get three quests there will be three each day and it only replaces up to three so if you have any left over when you start up tomorrow it will only replace however much you have up to three so if you have a quest left it'll only give you two and it come in different types right now we only have two of the types i think there's a third one but we got artificer for crafting a slime mold torch hunter for killing four gnats and hunter for killing two weevils you should always be picking up every quest because even if we don't get around to it for days and days and days, doesn't matter. And then you got another red button, which opens up a shortcut back to the original room. And there's only one more thing we got to do, which is open up that first scanner door that was otherwise inaccessible. Hold, please. There we go. Because it's got some raw science in it. It's got all the batteries. There's nothing in the middle here, but there is a little secret. There's a pebblet. Around the corner to the left here. You not only have a cassette tape, but before I pick that up, I want to show this off. If you crouch down and go through here, we find a yoked girth milk molar. Calcium chewable. In the shape of a tooth. It looks like one of those kind of chewable multivitamins, but instead of flintones, it's a disgusting tooth. I don't know who's marketing these, but whatever. Um, this is going to be awesome, these things. Because they let you get permanent upgrades to you and your team if you are playing with a team. But they require, as you can see, a level 2 hammer to bust open. And they come in two types. The white milk molars, which give you personal upgrades. Or the golden mega milk molars, which give you team-wide upgrades. So when we get a level 2 hammer, we'll come back for that. Alright. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. 
the Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab educational toy for children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Arminent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Arminent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time. But they will do for now. Okay, a little more story for you there. Oh man, our stuff is filled up. So, we have our mission. Let's take a look. We need to retrieve a super chip for Burgle, which there's one in the hedge lab. We need to go to the hedge lab so we can kill two quests with one stone. Make a slime mold, torch, kill gnats, kill weevils. God, killing the gnats is going to be annoying. Okay. Um, what else do we got? So, now begins the first little leg. See, there's the hedge super chip. We've got, oh, is that the only one it highlights for us? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't highlight the other ones yet. Um, basically, we're going to be taking a huge break from the story to make our first base, make our first set of armor, and just basically... Uh, getting things done. So it's going to be quite a while before we get to the hedge lab. If you're watching this like way in the future. Then just scroll and you're looking specifically for a way to get to and through the hedge lab. Then scroll on down to a video that's titled something along those lines. And it'll walk you through it. But for now, did I make my shovel? No, I did not. Alright, so. Let's craft some stuff here. Oh, we need another sprig. Gosh darn it. Okay, there we go. Craft an acorn shovel. When this torch goes out, we'll build the torch the extra torch and what we're doing there are grubs that hover around meander around the oh there it is can you hear that there it is so what you do is you got to dig it up and then they will bury themselves back under Ooh, there's two of them so you have to quickly switch over to your weapon whatever that may be there he is switch over to the weapon let's also peep Taking it don't look. forget about that and then take them out. And now we can switch back over to our shovel. Remember, you don't want to get too close to these holes because of the spiders. I hear another one. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's my torch I hear. I'm silly. Okay, and actually, I need to go back to the oak lab. I missed something. I think. God, these aphid slippers are great. I'm just tearing through. Yeah, so that signal that pops up on my scabby. That signal. Ooh, is coming from any of those resource analyzers. This is why I told you to make sure you activate all the resource analyzers that you find. Because that's the only way you can get that signal to stop emitting. I believe I failed to do so in the one down here. So every time I come to the Oak Lab, that little logo will pop up. There it is. Yep, you just heard the beep. That was it dissipating. Although I don't know how that happened. I could have sworn I used this when I came here. Did I just not save? I don't know. Gas mask. That's going to be great. 
Also, keep in mind, this is how we're finding raw science, so... Storage chest, that's awesome. Water container's great. Grinder's great. The acorn armor, I hear a lot of people say is great. I disagree. It has the downside of attracting insects. Which I don't think is a downside that's worth it. So how much raw science do I have now? I think we can go, yeah, 660 in the top right corner of the inventory. So we could, if we go to the shortcuts... What do we got here? Smithing station, like I'm probably not going to use it much, but it's only a hundred. I could save up for cooking. I kind of like the multi-story bases, especially since we're going to be starting to make a base. So it might be worth it to get this, save up for that. Does it get railings? Do we have railings? I mean scaffoldings, sorry. Foundation you can skip, fortified pill uh, bases you can skip for now. We'll get them later, but don't need them now. Meat shield is great, definitely worth saving up for. Scabby scanner science is good if you don't want to look up a bunch of stuff. All right, well, we'll just wait. I don't need any of that stuff. Probably gonna save up for the... Not the fortified bases, what was the other one? Whatever the other one was. Oh, wait, I had to kill weevils. So that was one of my quests. And we gotta kill gnats. That I'm not looking forward to. I might actually want to craft myself a bow and arrow. Or a bow. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but that's definitely the sound of a giant spider. Those wolf spiders wake up at night. So we must tread carefully. Woohoo! <laughs> I really wish I knew where that spider was that I hear. It's because it's freaking me out. Let's just get far away from here. And then we won't have to worry about it. Sorry. Just drinking some tea uh, and eating my acorn bits. So there's those. Oh. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. And Brussels sprouts is one of those things that you really do turn around on when you're an adult. I love Brussels sprouts now. There's another one of these guys. Oh, no. There we go, we get 120 raw science for that. The gnats are going to be annoying though. We can go ahead and make a slime mold torch though, that one's not hard. That one already ate stuff, so we're good there. My torch is about dead. Excuse me. I think I have the materials for a new one except for sprigs. So let me grab some sprigs. Or actually, I guess I can take this time. What do I have? I do. I, can, I think I can make a slime mold torch right here and now. Oh, I need one more plant fiber. <gasps> Ta-da! So let's do that. And I can make a weevil shield with my grub hides. Got 250 whole raw science. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Alright. God, those things are awesome. Ladybug, ladybug. Poke your head out of the rug. God, that's a band I've been getting into a lot recently. It's Presidents of the United States of America. Okay. So there's that ASL terminal that works everywhere now. So multi-story bases, that's what it was. So I think I'll buy... Because I got 10.30, so... 
Yeah, let's just go ahead and buy the multi-story bases. Open up this. You can scan that. There is a sap catcher. Grub hides. That's going to be the first set of armor we tend to make. It's just a good tier one. Or er, level one. And we level up. Level three. And see, this is what's going to start happening for a while is we'll analyze so much stuff that we will already know all the recipes we unlock at a certain level. That tends to happen. And you can hit X to see them. See, we already know three of the five. Level four. We already know a level six. I mean, come on. But okay. Um, so now we can go ahead. Let's go ahead and buy the smithing station, because why not? Now we'll just kind of start working our way down that list. And Oh, holy crap. Did you hear that? There it is. Yep. Taking a look. That's a big old wolf spider. He seems stuck too. That's not good for us. We might have to take us a nap. Now luckily the aggro range of a lot of these insects is not humongous. So it's not hard to kind of skirt around people. Wolf spiders come out at night, so that's a good reason to hit the hay. So let's do just that. I'll just use my torch up. Alright. So there's that. Spider should be gone. I need to get some food and water, though. Luckily, there's almost always water on a nearby... Oop, there it is right there. Oh, look, there's some right there. Don't Holy crap. Boil it. And then some food. Where can I get food? Let's sort. So I got a lot of raw food, but that makes you sick. However, you can alleviate that by making a roasting spit. Which, how do you do that again? Uh, you hit up. So we're starting to fill it out. Uh, roasting spit. I need one more sprig and four pebblets. So I think I can get all those before I starve to death. So one pebblet. There's two, three, and four. So now we just need two sprigs. Bam and bam. All right. So then this, here we go. We'll put it right next to the workbench. Hopefully it won't catch on fire. And super build. So now what you gotta do is you gotta light this and then cook. And you can put, I think, up to three. So I'm gonna put the three ones that are most closest to expiring. Then you just put three, yep, no more. I'm hitting the button and nothing's happening. And then you just play the waiting game and they will eventually cook. Now a little pro tip also is that cooked food also spoils. However, if you leave it on the roasting spit, even after it's done cooking, the spoil meter I don't think decreases. That might have been changed in an update actually. I'll do some testing on that. And once you see it kind of glows over like, glaze over like that with the blackness and your icon switch to a hand, you can grab it. And now we have cooked weevil roast, which gets you heal, it heals, or er, a meal, it heals, and it gets you well fed, which I'll explain that in a second. 
because if you consume that, it gives you a lot of health or a lot of a uh, hunger meter. And our status now, if you scroll up to the top corner here, we always have we already have the quickness because of the boots. We've got light armor because of the boots. Now we have though well fed, which means for five minutes it slows down. Uh, provides me with slow health regen. And a meal it means for five minutes it stops my hunger for depleting. So very nice. These things are great. There might actually be a new thing. I don't remember them being quite so uh, fantastic. All right. So we got that. We got our slime mold torch. What else? What else? Drink water. I think it's time to make our first chest. Which that can be made with two clover leaves, four shells, and four sap. And we have plenty of that. <laughs> so we just need clover leaves. And how many was it? Oops. Two. So yeah, if you're following in my footsteps and you're going to build on the top of that baseball, be careful about jumping down. As long as you're slow, you won't take any fall damage, but if you just sprint off, you potentially can. Alright. There's always clovers near the mysterious machine, so that's a great place to get them. Let's chop one down, because we only need two things. And now... Yeah, okay, there it is. I was like, you should always get three. Sorry, I think I hear a gnat. You all hear that? But I don't see it. They hover around water, and there's some standing water right there. Ah! Ah, but I don't have my bow. And I'm not trying to throw this axe all willy-nilly. In an attempt to hit them, that's going to take me forever. So, forget it. Oh, but we did sleep, though. Is there any new quests? Yeah, see? We finished our two quests. So now we got hunt weevils again. This time, three of them. And hunt red worker ants. Oh, there's a weevil. Hard to play this and take sips of a drink. Up oh, there he is. Well, that was an easy quest, and my inventory is now full. Yep. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh yeah, and you can. I guess you can't unlight this. It just kind of dies out eventually. Okay, let's make ourselves, there it is, a chest. And I like how it has an arrow that points forward, so it tells you which way that is. But let's place, back out, super build, open. You can name it and stuff, and give it an icon with the left trigger. I'm not going to do that yet, because this isn't going to be our final base, but... What do we want to deposit? I want to deposit any crafting materials. So that counts this. You can do that with the X button. These. That. That. This. That. These and those. Now this... Gets rid of our ability to kind of craft on the fly, but, no pun intended, um, if you're close to the base, you can craft stuff with the stuff in the chest, if you're close enough. It kind of has a proximity 
sensor. Well, it's only when you use the workbench, though. See, it says up there underneath the statistics, nearby storage, one in range. Whereas, yeah, I was like, I don't think it does for this. Oh, it does. So, yeah, exactly. Boom. So, you can make the canteen just stand in here. Which we should probably do here in a second. Canteens are nice. Let's see what else we got. We don't need an eye patch. We are going to want to make these grub goggles. They're pretty nice. It gives you extra boosts to maximum stamina. So if you're looking for like starter armor, that's a good place to go. Or you can skip that altogether and wait until you can get ladybug armor. Spoilers. Alright, but what I need to start doing is planning a base out. Before I do all that, is this all cooked? Uh, almost. I want to take a look at the weapons. And actually, well, I'll look for it. So yeah, sprig bow. Maybe I need to make my sprig bow. Oh, but see, that requires the gnat fuzz. It's hard to kill gnats without a bow. Sheesh, how am I going to do this? I don't even know. Oop. I think the thing to start doing is making that grub armor. So, oh, and I just cooked. Oh, no, can I? Ah, dang it. It's already cooked. Grown. I feel silly. I didn't know I needed it. Do you need it for everything? Oh, no. Okay, shoo. What about these? No. Okay, so we're good. I just need more grub hides and dry grass chunks by the looks of things. Looks like we need two more there and one or uh, four there. So that's six. And then four plus four. So six grub hides, eight dry grass chunks. Oh, but we're going to. Yeah, no, that was right. Eight and six. Okay, but we need a workbench to make it, so let's go ahead and make the goggles, because we can. And put them on. So you can hit X to equip anything. Ooh, fashionable. That should keep me safe. Mm, safe fur. And then let's sort this again. Sort again. Oop. There you go. Went too far. Alright, and now let's try finding some more grubs. They're always chilling around the oak tree. And then depending on kind of which way you go. I'm going to put a waypoint down. You might find some along the way as well. I'm also going to be keeping an eye out for red worker ants and gnats if I can get any of them. I think the gnats are going to take a special trip. Because I happen to know there are tons of gnats over here in this kind of wetland area. So we might take a special trip down there to get some. Always completely run out your stamina, by the way. I can explain why later, but basically it unlocks a mutation. See, so yeah, right around here, I thought there's usually some grub activity. Where is it? Am I wrong? This is where having the headphones on is nice, because you can kind of listen. Because you can... Oh, wait. Well, uh, now I'm torn. Okay. Uh, it's like I wanted to get that red worker ant. Those things are a dime a dozen, though. Grubs are a little bit harder to come by. So let's take care of them. 
Right, where did that other one go? I saw it. Yep. Alright. And you're gone. Sorry, buddy. There's another one. Oh, yeah. So, thing about ants is when you kill one, it will alert the nearby ants, if there are any. So do be careful about that. Get those, though. No. Oh. Ooh, what is that? It's another field research station nearby. Let's see if we can find it. So what you do is you just kind of walk in one direction. Trying to keep the signal strong. Up oh, there it is, right there. Be careful about this area near the wood fence. There's a long wood fence. You can see it kind of stretches on. Oop. In fact, can you see it on the map? Yeah, so it stretches all the way across here. And then also over here. Um, orb weaver spiders and orb weaver juniors like to hang out around this area. So just be careful. Just taking a look around. We got flower petals over there. That's a material. All right, well, let's activate this field station. Also, always check to look for, yep, there's often some kind of story item or maybe some food, supplies, whatnot. Poor Sarah with her little red bite mark. If she hadn't come to me, I wouldn't have even known. Oh, her sad eyes as she scuttled over, cradling her tiny arm. Daddy, daddy, there's something nasty in the roots of the oak tree, she whimpered. The tangles, too much too small to be explored as a full man, begged to be investigated in small form. But why did I go tonight in the dark? Why did I choose a creepy, foggy backdrop to see what I just saw? And what is this feeling that I feel now? other than my heart still racing. A feeling beyond Erector Pe Peli? Peli? Turning my skin to that of a goose, beyond raising my hair or a shiver down my spine. It's more like my skin has resigned to the thought of being removed, and the meat beneath that cowers in fear of being exposed to the crisp autumn air. Ugh. The meat pulls my skin tight like a cowering child under a blanket hiding from ghosts and werewolves at the edge of the bed. The bones feel sorry for the meat and the cold, for the cold winds would be so brief like a worm sucked from a hook and it would all vanish into that drooling maw in the blink of an eye. And then my own unblinking eyes would rattle in their dark little sockets above my shivering jaw. A quivering stack of brittle bones collapses and scatters in a howling breeze. The feeling is terror, I guess. But what can one do? Like the gray wolves of Yellowstone, these apex predators are an essential cog in a well-oiled machine. Remove the wolves, and the elk run wild and strip the land. Goodbye, Flora, turns into goodbye fauna. One simple change can disrupt the entire ecosystem. Just leave them alone, and they'll leave you alone, right? So I think he's talking about the big wolf spiders, but... Not sure. Alright, so always activate that, and look at that, we have our first uncommon scannable material. Do this first. Get a normal chair, and a red ant club, but that's a good weapon. The uncommon ones, what they do is they give you the same amount of raw science, but double XP. So with that done, let's continue our quest to find more grubs. And feel free to do some resource gathering while we're here. I will say, especially early in this game, there is technically a thing is too much. Unless you want to just build chests over and over. Oh, they all fell in the water. A 
Luckily, in order to drink water, you have to hold down the button, so... Unless you're really not paying attention, you don't have to worry about accidentally slurping dirty water. I'm gonna go easy on the acorns for now. Just remain focused, unless you have one that's already broken up. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. Spoiler alert, we can! Aphids specifically are difficult to tame, though. The weevils are much easier. Alright, so we're just walking around the base here. Listening for that telltale sound. Of dirt being dug up. God, every time. I'm not even that scared of spiders, but when they're ginormous like that, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Grubs, where are you? Ooh! A flavor drink, and I see something! <gasps> Our first regular milk molar. Unfortunately, those also need a level 2 hammer, so we will return. Something I see a lot of people on YouTube like to do is they'll build a base, their first base, inside one of these cans. Yes, I can! Go inside this can. There we go. That's soda. So we have discovered the dew drops, juice drops, and now a soda. Where are these grubs? This is usually like a good amount. Like at least three. Is it because I killed some of them last time I was here and they haven't respawned yet? Because that could very well be the case. Which would be sad. Did they move in one of the updates and I didn't know? There's the old anthill I just, just discovered. There it is. Hmm, I say. Let's just do some walking around. Let's do some good old-fashioned exploring. We'll be listening for... the grubs. Maybe we can take this opportunity to go try to hunt down some gnats. I don't really feel like doing that. Oh, there's another ant that I need to kill. Sorry, buddy. Now, these are also the first insect we've come across that turns hostile when you attack it. I think. I don't think any of the other ones we've come across have. There's another one. Ah! Ah, I pulled off a perfect block there. You know you do when you see these little sparks come out of your weapon. We could try taking on a ladybug. But we won't. That thing will definitely kill us. Oh, I'm close to the log. There's a big wooden plank out here. Ooh! Okay, perfect. I was looking for this. A giant hot dog, or half eaten hot dog. Gross. If you have a level 2 axe, you can chop into it. But more importantly, can I find it this time? I was really struggling to find it in one of my playthroughs. Yeah, I don't see it. The wrapper for said hot dog is somewhere. And it contains something quite useful. So I would love it if I could find it. There's one of the tripods. The oh, mites, great. Oh, 
a uh, research station. Like I said, I'm just kind of exploring right now. This might be the one. There's one underground somewhere around here. This might be that one. Yeah, I think it is, because I think it's kind of like under this hill. Oh! Oh no, there it is. Ignore everything I just said. So here, near the water, is another research station. So we've got the one over here. They show up as little markers. Oh, wait. Look at that. What is that? That kind of pulsing image. Is that the... Oh, no, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just my TV. Eh, never mind. Alright, anyway. Take a look around, look for... Yep, see? I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Almanet may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. An auspicious beginning. And even if you don't have anything to scan, always touch the resource analyzer. Gets rid of that signal. This is the can that most people like to build a base in. It's nice and flat. In fact, we might do that. I think what we're going to do... Oh, no, that's the plank again. Dang it. Looking for that hot dog... Ooh, pardon me. Hot dog wrapper. I swear it's around here somewhere, but I keep losing it. And all the while, I'm keeping an eye out. Okay, I think this might be the research station that's underground. I remember trying to find it for minutes on end in one of my playthroughs, my original playthrough. I keep saying one of my playthroughs, I've only done one playthrough really. This big tree branch, it's a fallen oak branch, is great. It's got tons of sap, but it's also littered with lawn mites, so be careful. But it's fantastic. Ooh. Yes, okay, so down here... We've got some burrowing creatures, but one of them, or multiple of them, I believe, might be the second burrowing creatures, which is larva. And those things are much more dangerous. So you do want to be careful when you're digging up creatures outside of the oak tree. I think the ones by the oak tree, yep, there it is. Ah! Oh gosh, I'm trapped. Okay, uh, scan. Switch over to the spear and start attacking. Yeah, let's see. I'm already at low health. Okay, shoo. Alright, let's get some bandages. Or I need food anyway, so let's go ahead and eat one of these. There we go. Gets Better me health starving, and I think. food. Harvest that. And let's try it. Now that we've gotten a picture of it. It's like these might all be larva. Alright. I do not remember. If all of these creatures are larva, or if some of them... Okay. We were trying to get... 11 grub pie total. 8 in my inventory, which... Yeah, okay. So let's keep going down through this tunnel. Where's that sound? Up oh, there it is. 
notice my... Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, I was gonna say, my torch is almost uh, depleted already. I hear another one. Is that upstairs? Up oh, there it went. Oh gosh, I hear a lot of things. Can I make a torch here? Oh, nope, I need... Oh man, all the things. Okay, maybe it's time to... Well, yeah, we can get two sprig, six plant fiber, and three grass chunks. Dry grass. That shouldn't be too hard. Here's some dry grass right here. So that was one, two, oh, perfect, three. So now I need a bunch of plant fiber. There's a sprig. There's another one. So now I just need six plant fiber, which those things are extremely easy to come by. You might have to walk for a little bit. Oop. Especially since it's dark, it's hard to see. I like this um, option I turned on at the beginning of the game of being able to pick up things nearby. You don't have to look directly at it. That's actually been quite helpful already. You just saw there how it notified me that there's some plant fiber nearby. Okay, so that's enough there. So we can hot craft these crude rope. Get the torch going. And equip it. And that's a plus torch plus. So that's going to be much more longer lasting. Right, head back this way. Oh, there's a research station. Oh, no, that was the same one, I think, that I failed to... Dang it, I keep saying... I feel like there's one underground somewhere. Maybe I'm just crazy. Aha! Hooray. This all becomes much easier once we do... I think it's the very first lab. God, that is blazingly loud, but I don't see it. Ah, and they've shown up. Is that sound coming from? It's not coming from in here. Oh, but oh, dang it! I want to find this stupid thing. Aha! Ow. Okay, got that. Ah, uh, boy. And then there's the hot dog wrapper. Let me mark that on my map right now. It's right about here. Well, I guess I don't have to. It's, I mean, you can see it from the research station. I just didn't want to lose it. I wanted to come here first. Ah. I still hear lawn mites. Okay, I'm going to turn around now. Activate this, and we can scan the larva stuff we've been getting. And we unlock the larva blade, that's a good weapon. And bug rubber. We've got... I do not know how this is possible. 
I previously believed that all the parts of my functional unit were required for operation, but apparently they were not. Perhaps that means I have some extra storage space. Haha, <laughs> very philosophical. Do you feel anything else? No, everything appears to be the same. Though, I have come to realize that this world is absolutely covered in filth. It is quite concerning. You may wish to wash your hands before returning to work. Uh, check in here. I mean, nope. Still saving up raw science. Alright, now check this out, everybody. Inside this wrapper. Is it in here? I hope it is, otherwise I'll feel like a fool. Where's the dang... Could have sworn... Arg. Is it? Aha, okay, there it is. Okay. So, inside our Billy Hogs wrapper, not only do we have several sprigs, you want to be careful about snatching them all up if you have a small stack size. Right now, I think our stack size is just 10. Tons of sprigs. Excuse me. But underneath this leaf is a rock. With a sword in it. A sword in the stone, if you will. So we can pick up a l rotten larval blade. There are several rotten... No, this way. Uh, weapons laying around. And they're all very nice. The only problem is... They are unrepairable. Unlike the weapons that we create. But, this early in the game, they make for a nice replacement for these basic weapons. Oh yeah, we got some cookie sandwiches here. I don't know what these are called. Boreos or something like that. Alright, now to find at that re field research station again. So I can scan that larval blade. Oh, it's literally behind me. All this stuff can be harvested. Something's attacking me. Oh, there he is. Oh. Sweet. No need to block. Uh, now we're over this way. Oh, my inventory's full. Well, drat. Alright, this will be a perfect time to stop, probably. Yep, let me just scan this. Science! So nothing but experience and money, which is perfectly fine. And with that, I believe we will call it a night. I'll start it back up back at the home base. We'll have eaten and drinking and healed and all that stuff. And then I will also have planned out a base to start making, and that will be our next project. So until then, stay safe.